Well, with more people doing their own fireworks displays, sadly, that means a bigger chance for accidents. WJCL's Dave Williams spoke with experts about staying safe. Fireworks shows are probably the most popular tradition surrounding the 4th of July holiday. But this year, there won't be that opportunity because many traditional public fireworks displays have been canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. That means you can expect more people setting off fireworks at home. If you're one of those planning to do so, the Chatham Fire has some suggestions for you. People have cul-de-sacs. We found a lot of people set up in a cul-de-sac with a few neighbors and they'll set them off in the middle of the cul-de-sac because it's, it's a good asphalt area on the road or concrete. Not have to worry about a lot of things. They're all back up to the sides of the road. They know they have enough distance around. And with more people staying at home for fireworks celebrations, it increases the likelihood of more injuries. Fireworks are very dangerous. Um, it's a, it can cause significant injuries. And so you really need to be prepared and take all the precautions. And that goes especially for those seemingly harmless fireworks like sparklers. Give it to your two-year-old and let them run around. Those things burn at significantly high uh, temperatures and they can cause significant burns. Sparklers burn between 1800 and 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, they're extremely hot. And even after they go out, you know, the kids have to be careful not to touch ends of them because they get burned. One reminder, if you do plan to set off fireworks this 4th of July weekend, remember Georgia state law says that can only be done between the hours of 10 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. In Savannah, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.